Got another 380 ammo test for you today. This was originally going to be part of the first round of the ammo quest for the micro pistols, the 2.8 inch barrels, but the ammo didn't arrive in time. Well, it just now did arrive, so even though I've been doing the finals, I'm going to jump backwards a little bit and do this test. This is double tap loading the Barnes TAC XP bullet. Now, a lot of people have been asking for double tap tests, and a lot of other people have been asking for the Barnes TAC XP, so hopefully I can accomplish both with this one test here. The Ammo is, is made by double tap, but they uh, buy the Barnes bullets and load them in here. It's an 80 grain solid copper hollow point. No, uh, no lead at all. And it is a lighter bullet than a lead bullet would be because copper is lighter metal. And so that lets the velocity be a little higher. According to the box, it is rated for 1,050 feet per second out of an LCP or P3AT. Both of those are what I would classify as micro pistols. Both have approximately 2.8 inch barrel. And so our benchmark that we should be looking for is 1,050 feet per second from the Taurus TCP. So let's get out to the range and see how these uh, Barnes double tap rounds do. The double tap Barnes penetration was really all over the place. Shortest bullet came in at 11 and a quarter inches. Next one was at 12. Then we had one at 15 and a half, one at 15 and three quarters, and one all the way at 19. Now, that's a massive range to go from 11 and a quarter to 19. It looks like in the block, none of them really show actual typical expansion, so I don't really know what to account for this, but it. Makes me glad that I shoot more than one round per block so we get a, a more representative picture of what the ammo actually does. None of them actually expanded like I would consider typical expansion. Instead, it's that, you know, let's take this one. This is the one that opened up the most. And that's what I would call it, is that it, it opened up. Compare it to this one, which didn't make any change at all from its native, you know, unfired state. This looks like a totally unmodified bullet, like a, you know, a typical, what we classify a bullet failure when a, when a hollow point doesn't open. This one opened up some, but that doesn't really count for expansion because as wide as it opened, it's still no bigger than the base. It's still 0.358 inches. So it didn't actually expand and become a bigger projectile. It just kind of opened up. Now that opening up, creates drag which slows the bullet down and keeps it from grossly over penetrating even the most over penetrating bullet we had only went 19 inches uh, which is not what we want you know we want a maximum of 18 a minimum of 12 and we had a couple of problem bullets in this situation we had one that went to 11 and a quarter so it did not reach the 12 inch minimum and we had one that went to 19 inches so we had a case of under penetration and over penetration and good penetration. Okay, wrap up on the double tap defense Barnes TAC XP. Uh, I don't know how to how to express this. I, I'm disappointed. It did not perform as well as I wanted it to, and I'm doubly disappointed because I really was expecting good things. Double tap has got a great name. They make a lot of interesting ammo. And I thought that this was really gonna do well. I thought the combination of double tap loading the Barnes bullet was gonna be great. Instead, we got good penetration. Uh, only one bullet was short, and even then, not by much. One bullet did over penetrate, but again, not by that much. Our cutoff is 18, and it only went to 19, so it's over penetrating, but it's not like you know, it went 24, 25 inches. It was just a little over penetrating. The ones in the middle did pretty well. We didn't really get any expansion whatsoever, which is disappointing, and I don't know what to make of that, how, how the Barnes bullet would normally perform from a, a 380. But it didn't really do all that well from what I got, and, and that brings up another question. It's rated right on the box for 1,050 feet per second, 1050, from an LCP, which has basically exactly the same barrel as a TCP. I should have gotten the same results, but you can see right here on the screen what my five shot results were and they're nowhere near 1,050 feet per second. So I guess that doubly disappoints me because 
if we had gotten 1,050 feet per second, I bet you I would be pretty happy with how this round performed. I bet you that would have been enough to get us some real expansion, to get that uh, short round up to the full 12 inch penetration. I bet that would have been great. But that's woulda and shoulda, and that's not what did. You know, what we got is what we got. And based on the results that I got, I gotta say I'm not that impressed. Disappointed. Wish it would have been better, but it wasn't. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, hit the like button. And if you, you definitely should hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified when new episodes are posted.